Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to prepare sopita de chacales. This is a traditional soup that's prepared around Lent season. You can find cracked corn at your favorite Latin grocery store all year round. So you can easily add it to your weekly menu. The only hard thing about this recipe is having to wait for the corn to cook, which does take about one and a half to two hours. So let's get started with the recipe. For this recipe, if you want to add a little bit of heat, you can use two jalapeños. But in my case, I'm going to use one roasted poblano pepper, half a white onion, four Roma tomatoes, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of New Mexico chili powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of tomato and chicken bouillon, and three garlic cloves, and one 14 ounce package of cracked corn. So gather up your ingredients and let's prepare this delicious recipe together. Before we begin to boil it, we're gonna rinse it first. I'm gonna transfer it to a strainer, and then we're gonna rinse it with cold water. Once it's well rinsed, we're gonna take it to the stove and begin the boiling process. To boil the corn, I'm gonna use a five quart stock pot. You want to use a stock pot that's large enough to accommodate the one cup of corn. Keep in mind that once it cooks, the corn is gonna expand. So you want to use a stock pot that's fairly large so you can accommodate the corn along with the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna add. I'm gonna start by filling up the stock pot halfway with water which should be about 8 to 12 cups of water, depending on the size of your stock pot. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt to the water to cook the corn. The water is just about to boil, so we're going to wait a little bit longer to add in the corn. Once it reaches a light boil, I'm going to turn down the burner to low. And cover for one to one and a half hours. And then we're going to come back and check on it. And while we wait for the corn, we're going to begin to chop our ingredients. I'm going to start with the Roma tomatoes. These you can leave them as chunky as you'd like. You can also use canned tomatoes but I like to use the fresh ones because it adds more flavor to the dish. And I know I did mention that I was only gonna use the poblano pepper, but I changed my mind and I'm gonna use the poblano pepper. And I'm also gonna add one jalapeno to add a little bit of heat. This one is completely optional. You can use either one. These jalapenos are so large that I'm sure the heat is gonna be very minimal. Next, we're going to move on to the onion and the garlic, and then we're going to take these ingredients over to the stove to begin the cooking process. To cook the vegetables, I'm going to heat up two to three tablespoons of olive oil. You can use olive oil or you can use any other oil of your choice. I'm going to start with the onion and the garlic, and we're going to saute both of these ingredients for about one to two minutes or until they become translucent. Then we're going to add in the tomatoes and the jalapenos. And we're going to cook these ingredients for an additional five to seven minutes or until it reaches a pasty-like texture. The corn has been boiling for about an hour and a half. At this point, it's ready, so once we're done cooking the vegetables, we're gonna incorporate it with the corn. Once our vegetables look like this, we're gonna add in the diced roasted poblano pepper and the spices. And we're going to cook for an additional five minutes.
Mix in the contents from the pan with the corn. Make sure to use a spatula so you can scrape off all those delicious flavorings. Mix all these ingredients together. Now at this point, depending on the water level, you can either add more vegetable broth, chicken broth, or water. And if you're using water, you can adjust the taste by adding more chicken bouillon or tomato bouillon. Mix all those ingredients together and simmer for an additional 15 to 20 minutes over low heat to incorporate all these delicious flavors that we just added. Enjoy this delicious soup during Lent season or any time of the year. Serve it with your favorite dishes or enjoy it on its own. When serving, you can top it off with queso fresco, cilantro, and drizzle a little bit of lime juice to bring all these delicious flavors together. And now for my favorite part of the video, the taste test. You can serve this soup just by itself. I like to serve it with a side of corn tortillas because I'm just used to eating everything with tortillas. So let's mix the quesito up a little bit. Oh, it looks delicious. Nice and hearty too. Look at that. It's kind of hot still. So get my tortilla in there. Mmm, good flavor. Just how I remember it. You ever had one of those recipes that as soon as you taste it, it takes you back in time to that special moment when you were enjoying it with your mom, your grandma. This is one of those recipes. I hope you give it a try because I'm sure your family is going to love it. Thank you for watching and make sure to join us in our next video for another delicious recipe. Mmm.